My name is Thorsten Hoffmann. I'm an award-winning filmmaker and entrepreneur. Guys, um, I think you want to have it on this frame. I cover emerging technologies and show you how trillion-dollar industries are forming around them. Today, the space industry seems to be really taking off. And trust me, it's way bigger than just Elon Musk. There were headlines. New era, private industry is going to lead the way. No, they're not. So allow me to whirl you around the world, catapult you into orbit, and to hurl you through space. You ready? Yeah. The new space race isn't just propelled by governments. Hundreds of companies are competing. SpaceX were the first private company to put a satellite in orbit. We were the second. Nine. Oh my god. My mommy could be an astronaut. <laughs> Meet the next generation astronauts. The faces of new space. So you're literally a rocket scientist? Yeah. <laughs> hey. A CubeSat can be as small as this. Launching into space for, say, $100,000 or $200,000. So why is this guy spending $2 billion on three huge satellites? OK, one question. Are you crazy? No. <laughs> Never. The sky is now full of tiny spies. This is creating a trillion dollar market opportunity. The list is really endless. Helping to combat climate change and geopolitical enemies alike. Sick. When Putin said he was going to withdraw, we caught him building a bridge between Belarus and Ukraine. And everyone was like, OK, perhaps we don't believe you, you know, Mr. Putin. Bye. Dying satellites can now be saved. I deorbited dozens of spacecraft. We don't have to do that anymore. We don't have the right to make mistakes because it would be fatal. But debris puts it all in danger. This is kind of scary to think about something like this re-entering and like maybe hitting a populated area. Or Nobody cleans up after you in space. Turns out, that's going to change. Three. Maybe someone is already building a space hotel like the one I read about as a kid. This is happening. We are building a space station. No. And we use the inedible part of the plants to feed the insects, which create the substrate for the mushroom. And reimagining sustainability. It came to me that my, my role and purpose is to help save the DNA of Earth and, and spread life to the stars. Why? And by the way, why is NASA awarding grants to the two richest men on the planet? I wasn't prepared for that question. <laughs> The really interesting thing about the space industry is the sky is not the limit. Oh my God. If the public does not see the value of this, immediately I will work to ensure that they do. Roger that. Let's meet those turning science fiction into science fact. <laughs>